So, it's that time again. We take our biggest rivals tonight. It's going to be a very, very big game for us. I don't know what to predict. I really don't know what to predict. I, honest with you, I wish I was going to the game. But, yeah, it's going to be a quite a tasty affair, if I'm honest with you. hope you like the new scoreline, by the way, just in the top right-hand corner. It looks pretty decent, if I'm honest with you. Um, so, yeah, come and join me for this preview. Let's hope we um, get a good result tonight. Hey guys, how's it going? Edstar here, back with another preview for the channel. Tonight we are taking on our biggest rivals, Brighton. Do I have to fucking say their name? Uh, it makes me sick, that name. I, I cannot stand this club with that. Any shadow of a doubt. It was a good win against Millwall but ten, uh, last weekend, but tonight is another fucking matter. It's, it's going to be a very difficult game. We all know that. You know They're probably the favourites to win this game, but, you know... We've won our last two visits there, so you may remember last year, you know, Roy Hodgson masterminded probably one of the greatest wins he's ever had um, against against them, so I've got no idea why we can't do it again. Um, of course, it's going to be a very difficult game, we all know that. Um, all the AFCON players are still out on duty, um, MacArthur's still unavailable, and Tompkins is now unavailable as well. So I can imagine him probably going for a same team um, against Millwall, the team that played against Millwall will probably start this game as well. Um, probably maybe with a couple of changes. I'm not 100% sure who he's going to go for, but I can imagine he will probably go to a very similar team, you know. But this is such a test, you know, such a test because they are pretty much out of form, but anything can happen in these sort of games, you know. So it is a game where it means so much to me as a fan. And it means so much to the whole Palace fan base. You know, we cannot lose to them. We just, it just, it's just, it's a sin. You know, you commit a crime if you lose to them because we will be on your backs. We do not want to lose this game. You know, it is such a important game. People will not understand this rivalry. Okay, I understand people will think, what, what's, what's the, why are they, what is the derby? It's, it's something about the eighties. Okay, to put it to put it bluntly, they had an incident in the eighties that they didn't like us, so we didn't like them. Is to put it put it light to put it lightly. Um, you know, earlier in the season, if you've not watched that video, by the way, I will leave an eye to for you guys to go and watch that video. I was not happy. I was not happy whatsoever. It's at the game, the 95th minute, Guaita kicks it fucking into midfield when he should be kicking it into row fucking Z anywhere away from him anywhere and he kicks it straight to a, an opposition player and guess what one ball over the top and guess what fucking Mopai le leaps it right over the keeper and you just at that point you've got to be thinking well, fuck's sake how much bad luck can we get in this team I mean it's just so so concerning if I'm honest with you you know but you know we are we're probably we're 12th right now and I've said I said at the start of the season I will happily take a 12th to 13th place finish right now, but I'd love to finish in the top half. You know, if we can find that form, if we can find that, you know, resistance, you know, to get into the top half, that would be lovely. That would be really top my season off, if I'm honest with you. Um, so I'm going to do a very quick predicted 1 to 11. Um, let me know your predicted 11 in the comments down below. Um, for me, I think he will go with Vincente back in goal. He will go with, I think he'll go with the same back four, uh, Mitchell, Gahey, Anderson and Ward. I think he won't He won't change that, especially for a game like this. It's a massive game. Um, but in, in uh, centre defensive midfielder, it's apparently where I think changes are going to need to be made. Anybody but Luka Milivojevic, please, Vieira, stop sucking him off. He's not good enough. He is not good enough for this club and he still gets picked, picked every most weeks I just don't understand like what does Jaira Riedeveld have to do to get a game in you know he's just, he's just not good enough Luka Milivojevic but I can I can I don't have a fear that he will start tonight and if he starts tonight it's very concerning you know 
because he will get a stupid yellow card and that yellow card will turn into a red and he'll cost us the game. It's as simple as that. Um, I can only imagine he will go with um, Will Hughes as well because why, why wouldn't you play Will Hughes? He's in the form of his life right now. Um, he's just he's just been sensational, you know. The form he's produced recently, you know, he's the player that we've needed. You know, he's definitely a good replacement for um, James MacArthur, who's been out for so long with, you know, with an injury. You know, Will Hughes is that player. He knows where to find the pass. He knows how to defend. He knows where to be. His his brain power is just extraordinary. And that's what I really appreciate in a, in, a, in a midfielder. You know. Um, I can imagine he will probably go with Conor Gallagher because, again, one of our best players without a shadow of a doubt. We've got such an exciting team, you know. We've got so many good players in good positions where we don't really need to strengthen. You know, the only two positions that I'm curious about, um, if I had an opportunity, if it was me, I was a manager, I would probably get a backup left pack, you know, to give Mitchell a bit of a break because sometimes he does get a bit tired. Um, and I would also go for a right back as well because I don't think Joel Ward's good enough. But that's just my personal opinion. Don't get offended by it in the comments. Um, yeah, that's just my personal opinion on that. Um, I'd imagine he will go with Odson on the left. Um, he will probably go with... I don't think he will start with Mateta. I think he will go with Benteke for sure because Benteke thrives in these sort of games. You know, He knows where to find the back of the net. He done it last year, so why wouldn't he start tonight? Um, and then I can imagine him, he will start, um, I, I hope he will start Michael Elise because again, he lit up the game against Millwall. Absolutely top class performance from Michael Elise. He wasn't good in the first half, but the second half, you know, Vieira must have kicked him up the arse, literally. And he just he just shot off. I just couldn't believe it. You know, it was, it was sensational what he'd done, you know, to turn the game on its head. But yeah, that's my... Um, predicted 1 to 11 for this game let me know your predicted 1 to 11 let me know how excited you are for the game or ang excited stroke anxious stroke nervous if that's how you feel let me know how you're feeling about tonight's game let me know you know your thoughts on it because if i'm honest with you this is the biggest game of our season we cannot afford to lose this game um you know we've got two we got tough games coming up you know we've got um liverpool coming up for the next weekend as well so if we lose this game, you know, we are, all the pressure is going to go, you know, to that next game at, Liv at home to Liverpool. So, yeah, that's going to be all for this preview. I hope you have enjoyed it. Do apologise for the lack of content on the channel lately. I am working to get some more content out for you. I probably will have some more content out for you tomorrow. Um, I'm completely off. So, excuse me, I am completely off of work so I will 100% try and get something out for you lot tomorrow maybe I might give you a double upload you know get this video to five likes and I think I will definitely give you a double upload but that's going to be all for this video hopefully you guys have enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you're new and until I see you for the next video take it easy